Mm-hmm. Got kind of that whole like teepee hut kind of thing going, eh? That uh, awning there. Like a tiki uh, old school restaurant. Look at that. That's a charging station for electric vehicles. Which is weird to see these uh, because uh, I'm in like a fucking changing neighborhood. Which was always poor. And hence, ghetto. Hey, look at that. A nice old Jeep there. Hey, I know a guy has one of those. Fuck off, like exactly like that, I think. Except his is like lighter yellow. International Grocers Alliance, if I'm not mistaken. It took me a long time to figure that out. These old Cavaliers, you know, they're pretty good cars considering how many of them you still see on the road. Look at this one, still going. It's all rusted, the fucking shit shot. I can't imagine what the underneath looks like. Probably like Swiss cheese, I guess. Right by here, the old uh, CN line, Canadian National Railways, uh, formerly uh, the Grand Trunk Railway, which as far as I know was more of a railroad that was uh, North American than Canadian or American. It was really both. And I used to work for that company, St. Hubert, as a co-worker of mine used to call it. Anyway, so we're walking along uh, Charlevoix, La Rue Charlevoix, Charlevoix Street, in the Pointe Saint Charles area of Montreal. And uh, it occurred to me the other day when I was filming one of my walks, I'm like, you know what, I got two batteries, I got a great camera. I figure, fuck, I'm going to film as many of these walks as possible as I do uh, trains or cars or whatever. Because, again, five fucking months out of the year, this place is like, it's like a skating rink almost. It's shite. You know? So, uh, why not? Maybe we'll, so you'll get to see a couple old cars there. Like, uh, for example, uh, this old fucking uh, Fiero over here. Look at that. Eh? I wonder if I should stop for a second and say hi to my friend Sean. Look at this thing, eh? I wonder if maybe that's his or something. But I don't know if I feel like disturbing him. That's the thing, he's working, you know? So... I don't know. See, my eyesight is so bad. I know there's a couple of guys working in there. I can't even see them, so... Well, this is the street you get to go to the Pont Champlain, the Champlain Bridge, which they're building another one because the one right now has got a... His lifespan has already run out after, what, 40 years or so or more? And uh, it's got to get redone. So it's actually quite an impressive sight to see when you're on the actual Champlain Bridge. And you can see the bridge next to it they're building. It's quite uh, fucking something else, you know? Oh, uh, Knox Street. Oh boy, that's a fucking old sign. That sign's from the 80s, probably. It's got the old uh, Montreal symbol there. I, I really like that symbol. I'm very partial to it. But then again, I'm a nostalgic. I'm old school, you know? Now why do I talk like an Italian? No idea. Oh, look at this. Hey! I had a friend who had one of those. Oh man, it's all rusted and everything too. <laughs> anyway, his was white. It was a Dodge Spirit. Yeah, Dodge Spirit and the Plymouth Acclaim. And last summer I was here and I saw Carmen Ghia. It was beautiful. Beautiful automobile. Let's just see what's out here. Nothing interesting, nothing much. Let's take a look over here now. Anything you can have anything uh, you want uh, you can have anything. I'm not sure if that's a real song or not. Yeah, also my friend Joel is uh driving the 57 route bus for the uh STM and um well, look at this old fucking pathfinder. Whoa, look at this beauty. Oh I like that. Is my camera busted? Yeah, beautiful gas guzzler. I waxed one of those once, it was red. Uh, yeah, anyway, so my friend, he's driving the 57 uh, bus route there, but I don't know uh, which way he's going, so we're just gonna take a chance. Man, this looks like a fucking ghetto building if there ever was one. You know, you can tell a lot, eh, buddy? It's just the facade, it's just really dirty and really, really dirty and you know, it doesn't have to look broken, it's just, it's run down just like that old fucking Mazda 323 over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, I, I, uh, oh yeah, that's what I wanted to say, yeah, Knox Street, I think I know a guy actually who's knocked in the fucking head, he's just fucking insane, this guy, and he lives on that street somewhere. Oh no, sorry, he lives on that or Ash Street, one of the fucking two, I don't know. Anyway, the guy's out of his mind. Quite, I mean, he's a nice guy, but he's really not there. I mean, no joke, it's fucking terrible. It's 
it's sad even is what it is because I, I remember he was a, a friend of uh, Ride. Ride, Sally. Ride. Anyway, so, um, so yeah, I had this friend, right? He was my best friend. And then we went to go meet the guy who lived, uh, I found out later on, lived on Ash Street. And, uh, by the way, I'm looking for cars, by the way, if you're wondering what the fuck I'm always zooming in and out. It's because if you look at my channel, I'm obsessed with old cars and trucks and vans and all that stuff. Oh man, it smells good here. So anyway, so this guy, this friend of my friend, uh, who, who lives on Ash Street or Knox Street, I don't know. I go in this fucking house, my friend, man, first of all, the guy's a chain smoker, almost. And the guy is so fucked in the head, the place is absolutely disgusting. There's not even a window open, everything is yellowed, even his computer, everything is fucking yellowed. And he's not even using an ashtray, by the way. He's got this, you know, the computer is like, here's the computer, right, with the screen and all that, and it's like kind of one of those, like a wall unit kind of thing. And there's like a wall, and you know, it's like fucking press wood shit or like that, whatever. And there's a corner where he has this huge pile of ashes there from his cigarettes. I couldn't fucking believe it. One of the most disgusting fucking things I've ever seen. And on top of that, I used to do house cleaning for seniors, okay? So I've seen some fucking shit, repugnant, disgusting crap. But this guy took the cake. I tell you right now, even the bathroom, I fuck almost had a panic attack. I couldn't wait to get the fuck out of there. Absolutely horrible. Uh, horrible, horrible way to live. You know, you think you know somebody, you, 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 you know, you, you see things on the surface or the outside, and you don't know what lies within. You don't know what lies within, seriously. I mean, fuck, it's... It's that bad. What are we now? What is this? Clydesdale? Coloran. Colorain. Coloran. I don't know. This is one of those names that could go either way. You know, English, French. Coloran. Coloran. Sounds strange. Sounds like some fucking town in Ontario. It's a beautiful dog. All he's missing is the thing underneath for the, you know, when they had those commercials in the 80s, the, the dog would, the St. Bernard would bring you the medicine for your, your, uh, your, th your throat and all that. And uh, I can't, uh, what was it? It wasn't NyQuil. What was it called again? Ooh, Legacy. Hey, I had a girlfriend named Legacy. I always wonder what happened to her. She was beautiful. She was tall, friendly. Of course, she dished me because I was too judgmental, you know. <laughs> sure, that'll come to as a shock to many of you. What? Elton Judgmental? No! He's the nicest guy in the world! Yeah, right. I mean, I like to be, but... I mean, unless we end up living in a utopia, I don't see that happening, frankly. Frankly! Frankly! Yeah, okay, here's, we passed one old restaurant, which I forgot to mention. Here's an old dip on there. Look at this beautiful old architecture, though. That is original, man. Look at that roof. Amazing. Oh, wow, look at that motorbike. That was a vintage. Damn. Shit, that's, uh, that's cool, man. I don't even know what it was. Could have been a BSA, a Kawasaki, a Yamaha, a Triumph. And all the fucking cars are boring. That's the way it is in most places today. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm Jeez, I'm not even sure that 57 continues along here, actually. I thought it went all the way down to Wellington, because the end of this street over there is Wellington, actually. Hey, look, there's a, cr there's a car that doesn't get enough respect, eh? This old Chrysler, uh, um, Concord. I almost said 300, because the 300 shares the same body, it looks similar, but it's not the same thing. Yeah, a lot of them were sold in that color, even, those, those cars and those Intrepids and all that, you know, and... Unfortunately, uh, they just the quality was not not very good on them, and I, I, you probably so those of you who are diehard you know fans of my channel you probably heard me say that shit too about those cars, and I just thought they looked cool. Matter of fact, I'll even go further by saying, in the by the late '90s, by the time that design came out, I think in '99, that was really the most. Oh, look at a kitty meow! Black cat. Anyway, that was really like the most advanced design at the time. What's that? What is that? Oh my god, that looks like the uh, Silverado from my neighborhood. Thought it was an old fucking station wagon for a second. <laughs> Look at these beautiful homes here. Look at these ones, they're really... Especially this one here. This one right here. Look at that. That does not look like a typical Point St. Charles home. This looks more like a home you would see in Westmount, NDG, more affluent areas. 
kind of area odd actually to see that here. So what's cool about these old areas, you know, is it's not like the suburbs. You know, you have different ages and buildings. Look how old and beautiful that is. My goodness, look at those fucking doors. Holy shit, is that ever amazing? Look how cool that is. Wow. That is something. That's some of the coolest doors I've ever seen. Oh yeah. Nice dodge, baby. Oh yeah, the 57 does stop here. Walk right in, sit right down. Daddy, let your mind roll on. Walk right in, sit right down. Daddy, let your mind roll on. See if I can see my bus here from now. Yeah, I see it. It's coming. It would be funny, actually, if it was my friend driving that one. I mean, there's like two or three buses in service right now. Anyway, whatever. Ugh, the smell of charcoal briquettes. God almighty, what do I think of right away when I think of that? I think of my old man. Passed away 11 years ago. James D. McFall. Gone, never forgotten. Oh, my charcoal is such a trucking company here. I don't know. Actually, I think it's a trucking company. Scrap. Not sure. That's Wellington Street, by the way. And, uh, yeah, that's it. That's all. So I'm going to go take my bus now. And uh, you all take care now, you hear? Bye-bye.